Hello and welcome everyone. Exciting news. Once again, Pimax released a new version of the Pimax Play software. And this time they achieved a pretty cool milestone in my opinion. So just to be clear, this is the version 1.32. It's a beta version right now. It's not available for the public yet, but like last time when I got the uh, upscaler version, I guess it was one week later, it was released for the public. So stay tuned, I guess it will not take that long. The update went pretty smooth. No problems, just installed. I didn't deinstall the, the previous version. And what are the changes? So let's take a look here. Like I said, they implemented OpenXR into Pimax Play and also the OpenXR Quad Fuse. So what does that mean? Back then, we needed the Embucha version uh, of Pimax XR to run Pimax headset with Open XR. And now this is not necessary anymore. So it is one application uh, we don't need anymore. So I know it's it's for 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 um, experienced user this may sounds like it's not a big deal, but imagine if you're a first time VR user or you you're coming from another brand like the Quest or or Pico or something, and uh, people are telling you that you need to install many other uh, applications, it is kind of odd. So. I really like it that uh, OpenXR is now supported in the Pimax Play. And also there were some cool adjustments like uh, the local dimming now has an, uh, a slider. I will go into the device settings. You see this now you can very, very fine tune the local dimming. It was it was available before, not as a slider. You had like extreme balanced high. And of course you could uh, tinker these values, but you had to edit some ini data. So it was not very user friendly. So I really love that this slider is finally happening in the Pimax Play software. Um, yeah, the upscaler, I don't know if this is available for everyone when you will get the, this this version of Pimax Play because I have a, 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 a different firmware. And yeah, the handle vibration adjustment, it was, it was there before. So yeah, like the name, it's just a value how strong your, your, your controllers are vibrating. Okay, here you can see we have the fixed for Vita render settings or if you're using the Pimax Crystal with uh, eye tracking, you will have dynamic for Vita rendering, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, sadly, there are only, what's it, four games right now, which are supporting quad view, but yeah, maybe in the near future there will be more, but yeah, fingers crossed. So, and this is the the main the main change in this version. Now we are able to set the Pimax XR runtime as the primary Open XR runtime with just one click. So that's it. Now we have selected the Pimax Open XR runtime, and. If I go back here, I can try to open uh, XR Quad Fuse. Obviously, it is not like every game supports this. Bear that in mind. So uh, in my case, I don't play DCS. I play Pavlov. Pavlov. Um, I will maybe I will test it uh, right now. There is also Kayak Mirage, which uh, uses Quad View. Um, I think there is there is a little bit of uh, tinkering necessary, but it's 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 not that bad. But for now, I think this is very cool. And 
of course there is there there are mixed feelings about open xr and open vr because many people are saying that open xr is always better which i don't think that's true in in some cases open xr is way better obviously uh it's dcs or um uh yeah, DCS is a very good example where where you achieve uh, very good performance. But I tried Subside, the 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 demo version, and for with Subside, for example, I got uh, an annoying bug, and also I did not get better better frame rates or better performance. Also, I tried Automobilista, and it was kind of the same so if you want to 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 go deeper in that topic i will uh show you a video from omni whatever he's very into the whole benchmarking stuff but so uh, often people ask me should i use open xr uh, or should i use steam vr or in uh open open vr um and I say yes, <laughs> because the answer is it depends very much on your on your application. So, for example, uh, the last couple of days I really tried uh, to get Race Room running with Open XR. It should run with Open XR, but sadly it doesn't work on my computer and there are many people out there i read in forums that they don't get race room to work with open xr i tried uh, many workarounds like um, uh, replacing files uh, reinstalling software etc so i will try it maybe it's now working with with the integrated open xr but long story short if you're playing many different VR games. I think you're good to go with open VR because when you're using open VR, you I guess there is a very, very high chance that the game will work with just one click. So it's like click and play. I have the feeling with open XR you have to tinker and you have to like you have to use the open XR toolkit that is something you need to to set up everything necessary then there is the open composite runtime switcher so it's a very delicate <laughs> name but yeah what does this little software do um it basically change open vr games which doesn't support open xr so it like um it's it's overwriting the 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 the, the runtime, and this little program here sometimes uh, it doesn't work. Like with Race Room, in my case, it 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 just doesn't work. And the thing is that Race Room doesn't support Open XR natively, so you're basically um, hooked to Open VR. But yeah that's the thing you you have to find the the sweet spot for yourself but yeah i guess that's it for this video now so i'm just happy that i can announce that pimax is streamlining their software and they're doing their best to to make the experience for the everyday user and and also for new users even more comfortable and yeah that's that's a very very positive thing in my opinion so i guess the next video will be me testing something with the pimax xr runtime like automobilister or something and maybe i will do some performance tests but yeah that's it for this video so thanks for watching and goodbye